Right, so hi everyone, my name is Valentin. I also happen to work for Twig, and I'm also leading the Nix documentation team. And yeah, I'm really happy to be with all of you here again to see so many faces. So at last year's NixCon in Paris, I put forward quite a bold vision for Nix documentation. Improve the contributor experience, ease learning and onboarding, and provide comprehensive reference documentation. Over the course of this year, a lot of people joined me to make that vision a reality. Many of them are here today. I'm happy to see them. Some of them for the first time. Yeah, and we've never been so many. Here's many past contributors. And this is the current documentation team. And today, I'm really proud to stand here and report on behalf of this team, we are delivering. <laughs> ah, don't, don't clap yet. I will show what we're doing. <laughs> So first of all, huge thanks to everyone who was part of this, contributed significantly to bring this forward. And there's way more to show than uh, I have time today, so here's just some highlights. So contributor guides, that was a major problem. Right after NixCon last year, we started expanding and updating the contributor guides that we had and writing new ones. So now we have a global introduction for both adding code and documentation overall in the ecosystem. Bob van der Linden added um, a very welcoming contributing.md on the Nix repository, and Yorick updated the hacking guide. Sylvan completely reshaped the Nix packages contributor guides with proper introduction into all the important directories and how they work and what they're for. And there's also some big news. We now have Nix.dev as the official learning and of, uh, documentation platform in the Nix ecosystem, thanks to Domin, who generously donated the domain and the site as he originally built to the NixOS Foundation. Yeah, now that's worth an applause. Thank you, Domin. So Yuki reworked the landing page to better orient users. He also improved, uh, they also improved um, visual representation, many aspects. Thank you very much. And we started adding more high quality tutorials on common use cases. So Len completely redone the, um, has completely redone the Nix shell tutorial uh, for reproducible shell scripts. Olaf completed the NixOS uh, VM tutorial. And Alex just recently added a gentle introduction to adding existing software with Nix, to packaging existing software with Nix. And there's more in the works that I can't show today, um, and more on that later, actually. So meanwhile, the Nix reference manual also saw some substantial improvements, some of them here. So for instance, it now shows separate uh, pages for the subcommands of Nix store and Nix env, complete with um, configuration flags, because that was a really, um, it was a thing that was throwing people off in the past. Um, we centralized and refined documentation for the files used by Nix and made systematic improvements to the glossary and the system configuration, uh, the, sorry, the configuration settings page, where the devil really lies in the detail and we had a lot of discussions to really nail it for the most important things. It's still ongoing work though. There's also a new page that describes the uh, development lifecycle of ex experimental features, and there's some infrastructure to generate documentation for all of them programmatically. That means that we can mention things in other places of the manual and highlight them automatically as being experimental. And finally, we now also have um, rendered Doxygen API documentation for the C++ interfaces in Nix. I think this is quite awesome. Well, the Nix Packages manual is quite a different beast. It's way too large for us to tackle, but we started addressing a few well-known problems. Penny not just reworked the entire rendering infrastructure, but also single-handedly completed the migration to Markdown that has been in the works since 2020. Ryan started it and like, was pushing this forward. No more Dookbook, no more XML. Thank you so much, Penny. This is heroic work. <laughs> what I can show, unfortunately, is that Don also added a live reload feature. So editing the Nix manual while you're working on it and looking at the results is now a breeze. This is also new. Alejandro, so also here today, sat down and took apart the Python section in the Nix manual. This investigation will surely serve um, as the basis for substantial improvements of that part, and I hope that will provide a template for future improvements of language-specific documentation in Nix packages. And as you see, this is still work in progress and a huge effort that would be completely impossible without uh, financial support of our sponsors. So ma many of the things that I've been shown um, have only been possible because with Ron's help, we launched a fundraiser uh, on the documentation project, which was quite successful. 
uh, we collected more than 18,000 euros, so the listing uh, on the State of the Union was a bit short. It's just that the money that we still have available. Uh, we, we collected 18,000 euros from over 57 contributors, which I think is completely amazing. This pays for Nick's experts such as Robert and Alejandro and Don to support a completely dedicated working group, which is led by Zach, um, with developing what we call the learning journey, a gentle introduction into basics of Nick's for beginners. So thank you everyone who supported us and has confidence in our mission. And if you haven't yet, and you like what we're doing, consider contributing, because that will essentially get us further. Um, all of what I've shown today still wouldn't have been possible without ongoing support by um, the companies that we work for. So I'd like to thank the leadership of Tweak, Antithesis, and Flux for funding Sylvan, and me, and um, Zach to lead this whole effort. And I'm really convinced that this courageous investment, which does require some conviction um, into better Nix documentation, will indeed shape the future of software development. Thank you. Well, funding enables critical work that simply won't get done otherwise. And we have even bigger plans to make Nix more approachable, to make it easier to contribute to and more productive to work with. And if your organization, whoever is listening to this, would benefit from such improvements and can supply the resources to make them happen, please get in touch with the documentation team. I think we're showing consistently that we can deliver that we can make things happen, and we can really make improvements that last. And until then, you can read up on what we're doing in our roughly monthly updates on Discourse, um, and, well, follow with what's going on and get in touch and ask questions and provide suggestions. And of course, any kind of contribution is very welcome. Um, you're warmly invited to take a shovel as well. Well, again, some mandatory advertisement. My personal contribution to the documentation effort is only the tip of the iceberg of what the next team at Tweak can do. So we're the goal sponsor. Please come to talk, us, to, uh, talk to us about what we could achieve together. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for making this possible. <laughs>